We begin tonight with that girl's varsity coach accused of a sexual relationship with a high school student. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie was in the courtroom as the charges were handed down. and She spoke with the alleged victim's brother about the inappropriate relationship. This afternoon, 43-year-old Latuan Turner was in court today through video arraignment. Detectives told a judge that just moments before police caught Turner and his victim, they had just gotten done having sex. And who do you live with? My wife and children. Today, a Warren detective told the judge that when Turner and the victim were caught, he told police she was his girlfriend. After the arrest, detectives say the victim told them that she has had sex with Turner at least three times in January, all in his car. I missed all the signs. All the signs were there. The victim's older brother did not want to show his face on TV. He says he is a police officer and says in hindsight he saw the signs including inappropriate touching on the shoulder and back, offering rides home to the girls and flirting. We were lied to. We trusted him with um, the safety of our sister. Uh, he was our, he was our coach. We trusted him for many years. He says his little sister used to have sleepovers with Turner's children. She's an emotional ruin right now. Emotional ruin. Yes. As for Turner, he says he's lucky to be in jail. Honestly, oh, I wish I was in the cage with him because only I would be leaving if I'm just being honest. Turner is charged with four counts of criminal sexual conduct in the third degree. Each charge carries up to 15 years in prison. He has been given a $250,000 bond in order to have no contact with the victim or anyone under the age of 18. Investigators believe the inappropriate sexual relationship has been going on for at least two years. Prosecutors say Turner could face more charges. Of course, we're going to charge everything we can charge. And if that means CSC 1, which is a life felony and a 25 year minimum, um, we're we're going to charge that. Warren Police Commissioner Bill Dwyer tells me this Red Roof Inn is known for having illegal activity, including drug use and prostitution. That's why the two police officers were patrolling the Red Roof Inn to begin with. Reporting in Warren, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Allie.